Hello Zero K fans, this is Shadow 33 with another FB VOD stream. I meant to do this on Wednesday, but normally I won't really do a stream after a tournament, so this is no exception. So first map is gonna be on Desert Cliffs, a map which I actually haven't shown very much of. It's gonna be against Gajop, who is actually apparently quite good. So I don't expect to win this. If I win this, it'll be rather surprising. So don't be too disappointed if I lose, or for this, for that matter, go into wait mode in my factory for no particularly good reason. <sighs> why... why wait mode? Anyway. So this map is a very small map, very rush friendly, which I'm gonna have to do right now. This can start anywhere along the north or south edge, my opponent of course being on the south edge because they are the second player, as I am in the north. And the starting mexes are quite a ways away from each other. Actually, I probably should do... No, 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 no. Okay. Make sure I don't lose anything duly. Ow, oh, darn it. Okay, so I think my opponent is over at the north... Or southwest, I mean. Let's see if I can win this fight. Hooray! I killed a glaive. But yeah, now I have to go and build more stuff. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Get rid of. Okay, good. Got rid of the mental extractor. Good. Not a complete waste. The rating was a complete waste, and I forgot to go infinite build. What the heck is wrong with me? All right. Shadow Fury, pay attention. And everything should be okay. No! Oh, darn it. I was paying attention. I forgot to build a defense turret. And what was I even talking about? I was talking about something to do with the way this map is structured. Very small, very rush friendly. I think that was it? Yeah, I think that was it. So that's... yeah, kind of the long and short of it. It's... oh, darn it. Very rush friendly, and I keep forgetting to build stag defenses because I'm too busy building economy. Build more stag defenses. I need more stag defenses. I'm running out of economy as it is. And... You build more stag defense. Oh, darn it. Like, just die. Doesn't even matter anymore. Totally forgot to play a map this size. Gotten so used to those larger macro maps that I forgot how to play maps like this. Which is really disappointing. I wonder if my opponent's gone for warriors yet. I kind of hope not, but that would be a good plan, honestly, at this point. Go for warriors, and then from there... Why is... no. Which means I should probably go for rockers. I'm gonna... it's a bit of a hard read, but I think it might pay off. Oh, they weren't up here? What? Hooray! Stag Defense did something useful! Did multiple useful things! Oh, crap. Of course, it's working against me, too. Move back! Move back! Get out of there! Ah! Shoot. If I retreat micro just right, I should... No, I, I can't retreat micro well enough. I'm not good at this game. I'm sure everyone knows I'm not good at this game, and... I don't know if anyone cares anymore. Okay, build static defense. And then you... Yeah, keep, keep reclaiming. Just don't get in the way. So where is my opponent built up? Because they're not here. Their factory must exist somewhere. Ah, of course. Right before I get the defender up. There we go. Oh, I was right. They built warriors. My choice of going for Rockos was definitely justified. Now, if only I could just get these Rockos into a good position to be useful, then everything will be fine. Build my defense. Oh, darn it. Of course they would. Okay, so I should focus less on Glaives at this point, and probably got some Warriors of my own. Get more Rockers of my own. And I, I said fight! Ugh. I put a fight move out! Why did you not follow the fight order? The fight order is four, so you don't kill yourself in three seconds. Because I'm not warmed up anymore. Or sitting right. 
or focusing at all. Oh good, but people are watching at least. Okay, well that's a bit of a problem. For whatever reason, I didn't expect to actually have to deal with a warrior of all things, but that warrior's going to kill itself in this solar plant. No, it's not. It's going to kill itself immediately afterwards. And then get reclaimed and then turn into more solar plant. Okay, now fight move. Because that's what I told you to do in the first place. And then from there we can see about doing other things. I just want to do this. Let's build a bit of a wall. Oh, I have no other idle workers. Okay, that's good. So you guys are on two. You go for direct assaults, and... Oh, crap. And now I'm in a bad situation where I can't deal with these Rockos trying to deal with these... Okay, no, fall back. Fall back. My commander's fine. Still the Lotus, though. Actually, build the Lotus right here, since apparently that's kind of necessary in order to not die. I, mean, I think some would be better on maps like this, but either I've lost it, or I was never very good at this in the first place. Because these used to be the maps I would do better on, but now I'm not as focused on this sort of play. And where's my... where's the tick? Okay, there's the tick, finally. No, move back, move... Just be a tempting target, why don't you? At least maybe then the ticks will go the right way. How many defenders are there here? Too many. It's hard being a cloaky bot specialist. It's like I just want to get good with cloaky bots before I try really getting into other factories, otherwise I feel like I'm just going to spread myself way too thin. I don't know. Is that right? Is that wrong? Because I know this game isn't really one to support that sort of play, but at the same time, I don't know what else to really do that doesn't involve just losing too much. No, target these things, you fool. Go back here, and you're useless. Utterly useless. Okay, never mind, no one's watching. Alright, well I guess I'll have another game in a moment. Looks like it's going to be on a larger map this time, Desert Needle. Okay, I'm going to do one more with Gashop. It'll be on Desert Needle Small, which will hopefully go a bit better, since it's more in the style of map that I've been playing more recently. Larger, more economically focused maps, as opposed to these smaller maps that I've been playing, which have been considerably more difficult now. I forgot how to play them, for some reason. That's time for a warm-up game beforehand.
Right, so this is going to be a good time for the economy commander. And I really wish this map options thing would go away. Why is that there? That's not necessary or useful. Do I have 0.6? No, 0.6 is pretty good, actually. Go with 0.6. So 0.6 on wind gens, and that will probably be best supported by a couple of defenders as well. Two darts is good, but I can only have one Scorcher. Dart over there, dart the other way, and then after that is Scorcher. Which I'll leave up from for now. Okay, sadly, my opponent is actually having a lot of lag issues, which is not good. Build this afterwards. This map, you get economy so fast that it's a good idea to build a caretaker as quickly as I am right now, because the economy, it just builds up. I mean, as it is right now, there's tw plus 20 metal on this these safe-ish plateaus. That is a huge amount of metal. Ah, shoot. That didn't go too well. I think we'll be able to actually do some damage with this guy, though. Scorcher. Okay, Scorchers and Masons. Masons continue to build up. Masons building up. The wind gens are 1.3. And everything else should be... Probably get us a wall of solars or something. And then another wall of solar, so it's a bit harder for them to get in. And then go over here. Oh. Free command. Well, not free, but, you know, free ish. Free ish kill! No, oh, fall back, fall back, fall back. It's not gonna work. Darn it. There was a glaive that was moving out. I gotta find that. Well, the radar tower one's most convenient. Build the lotus here just in case. Oh crap. Oh, you're okay. I'm not dead yet. More harassment. Okay, it looks like Gajop is going to be out due to lag, sadly. Which sucks, because I wanted to Play, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a win for no good reason. That's unfortunate. I didn't deserve that. I was just lag. Sorry about that, that's a little bit less than entertaining. Hopefully we'll have someone who won't have as many lag issues. Hopefully, sadly Gajop dead. I really wish Gajop didn't have lag issues. But that was the case, so now I'm going to move on to something else, I guess. Some other player. Not sure who wants to join in. We have a few people in this room right now. But no one's jumping into the hot seat. Well, at any rate, I think... Okay, so Sackdoth is going to be getting in the hot seat. So we're playing against them now. Oops. Wait, what? Oh, pff, shit. Or it could screw up and completely ruin the stream. Okay, well at least that was split at a logical boundary. Don't worry, the YouTube recording will be continuous. I didn't stop that, I just stopped the stream. 
Why is the stream not going? What's, what's going on? Okay, for some bizarre reason, the stream is not working. I don't know if my streams are up. Okay, apparently they are up. All right, good, great. Let's get back to this. Sorry about that weird delay. Probably just edit it out for YouTube, or maybe just chop it up so it's two videos again. I don't know. I don't want to make too many videos for YouTube because YouTube is terrible at dealing with multiple videos that are supposed to be logically the same, but allowing you to go to different parts. I don't know. There's no good way to do YouTube for this sort of thing. YouTube's just crap for this. Like, really, for this sort of content, I only put it on YouTube for archival purposes, because it's useless otherwise. Alright. So, we're going to be starting out with, once again, on Desert Needle. Nope, no, not there, not there. There. Ay. Building up my power. Doing the things I was doing before, except make the build radar a little sooner. And then move forward. But same build order as last time, that seemed to work okay. But now I'm against Saktoth, who is one of the best players in the game and also one of the devs. So I don't expect this to go very well at all. Okay, that's... Anyway, sorry, there's a weird noise going on in my place. I think it's my fridge. Not sure. Or it's from outside. Not entirely sure. Anyway, regardless, back to the game. Sorry about that. So, Sactoth, not sure what they're going to go for. Probably going to go for light vehicles, because that's a pretty common setup on this map. Let's build the caretaker afterwards. Take the mason a little while to get set up. So, oh. No, they're going for shield bots. With a riot cannon commander. Interesting. And I do have bandits, but I at least can get in. They, can, they should. Why are they not reacted in time? I expect they would have reacted in time by now. Nope. That that was a free constructor for me. That was interesting. Did not expect it. Oh, come on, Shadow Fury. Get with the program. Infinite build. And do this. And avoid screwing no oh, of course I didn't pay attention. Well, whatever. If you're watching this, you probably know that I'm terrible at this game, so it's not like it's that big of a caretaker first, and then move forward. Probably know that I'm terrible at this game, so it's not the biggest surprise that I'm screwing up terribly. Yeah, you get around you. Kill that thing! Hurry up! Hurry up! You relying on your speed. There we go. Got rid of the bandits. Now I have the lotus up, so at least that's not going to be completely vulnerable, as it was about to be. That was very scary. Right, you are on one. Go in this general direction. And you build here. Because it's a safe building and you're a worker, you're not a commander. You're an engineer, not a commander. I'm not sure where Sactoth has gone off to, because no normally in this map, people often go to the corners and then 
but they'll build directly to the corners, which I should probably think of doing fairly soon. In fact, I'm going to do that as soon as this is done. I'm going to set up a bit to get those corners. But I don't know if they have yet. In fact, I will set you to find out. The rest of you go over here, try to raid around the back. So I this probably set stuff up over there to help out with dealing with it, but we'll see. Well, not very much. A couple bandits, that's about it. Just go down in a hurry. Okay, they're setting up weirdly. Yeah, there's their builders. Target, what do I target? Target that thing! Target the Lotus! Target the bandit! Target the bandit! Target the for crying out loud! Do what I tell you! Oh finally! I didn't even target the bandit. <sighs> Whatever, target this. Man, the target command is being really useless. Well, this is not being perfectly useful, which is the same thing. It's a high-speed game. Imperfect and useless are essentially identical. If something is imperfect, it might as well be useless. Or at least it's effectively useless. It's also pissing me off. Wait, I just realized. I kind of came in through a path around the back. Which actually is exactly what Zaktoth did in Retaliation, since that would make sense. Fall back, rebuild once they've been chased away. Good. And then reclaim. Get all that juicy... Well, even with a caretaker. Build this first. And then continue to build these guys. Crap, that was a roach. Oh, fall back, fall back, fall... Ah, shit. I think Sackdoth is sandbagging. I really don't think Sackdoth is playing to their full potential right now. I'd be very surprised if they were, but I, I doubt it. Just because I should be dead by now. But they aren't expanding as much as I would expect them to. They aren't building up where I'd expect them to. And they're just not playing the way I'd expect them to do. And I've seen them play before. Like It's not like they aren't I know that they know what they're doing well enough. I just don't know why they're not killing me yet. Oh, they've probably gone for air. Think of it. Let me scout this out. I need to scout out the northwest because maybe they built up in the north. Maybe they built up in the northwest. Thinking. They're building something over there. There's defenders over there. You guys over here. I don't see anything built over in the corner. Well, this isn't going well at all. Plus 36, two, I need three. Wait, why are you, ah! What the heck, I didn't want you to go forward, why? What gave you the idea that you were supposed to go forward? Move back. Move back, deal with this stuff. Because you have to advance, just advance. When we're retreating, just advance. Okay. This is getting embarrassing. Well, since I'm expecting air fairly soon, I'll just build up some air. Some anti-air. Attack through here. Attack through here. Where is Sackdoth's stuff? Build this. Don't need much metal right now. We need... Well, we need a lot of power, build power in here, which we're getting. It 
Even that's not enough? What the heck? How could that not be enough? That makes no sense. Not expanding enough either. I'm being way too timid with my expansions. <sighs> That's the thing I'm trying to figure out is where is Sactoth expanding to? Because Sactoth should have expanded across pretty much the entire map by now. Like I shouldn't be wondering where they are, I should just know. Yeah, I figured that would happen. I don't know if there's much I could do about that. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should just switch to air. I'm expecting that they're going to go for air, but at the same time, I'm not going for air. <sighs> and these aren't going to do much good. Go over to the north again, I want to be sure. See, this is why I'm so timid. I move forward and I lose builders. I've got a bunch of idle ones, so I can do that. Use those to go forward. And harass out. Make sure Sactoth does not get away with basically doing to me what... Well, they just did. Do to them what they just did to me. The north as well. You guys move forward to deal with this stuff. No, well, actually, yes. But build up stuff. And you guys attack. I think this will be enough? I'm not sure. That well, seems relatively sufficient. Just... Oh, you know, if they hit the commander directly... Or just hit the things that are killing them, that would work too. But at this point in the game, I don't think killing the commander is going to make that much of a difference, but hey. Kill the commander anyway. Oh, what the heck?! Where did all those units come from?! What? What? The, how did that... What happened?! Ah. Uh. I don't understand what just happened. Where did these units come from? Where's the attack? Great. I'm. I can't. So hard to pay. Sorry, it is hard to pay attention while playing, while commentating. But I have to, since apparently these things get more views than other content. At least it's gotten better. I don't know. I don't know what gets views anymore. Something must. Come on, get rid of those turrets. But yeah, this is not going as well as I'd like. I Seriously, I don't know what Sato was up to. I don't know where those came in from. That's just bothering me. How did I not see those outlaws? And of course, there's the air units that I was expecting. Oh, it was a drop! Oh, right, because drops exist in this game. I forgot about that. Uh. I'm so surprised that Sacktop didn't take most of the map before. That doesn't make sense to me. I should have had more of the map. I was expanding way too slow. I was, like, embarrassingly slow. I'm sure Sacked up the sandbag in that game.
I might be able to get another game in. But I'm probably going to switch over to Skullgirls after this game, I guess? So yeah, move on to that after this. See who I can play on that. Hopefully I can play the beta, because that has new stuff. Well, Beowulf, but fully done. So, yeah. Don't have to wait until the console patch is done. Which, who knows when that will be done. I still feel really weird that I didn't see those, those transports coming in. I didn't even think about that. I was just thinking, oh, I guess I have the ground. I'll just go. But, no, I... Didn't think about that in time. Even though I did have the anti-air to an extent. Well, I was getting it, sort of. Hmm. Alright, so the next one will probably be on Avalanche, which is going to be a much faster game than last time. Last time was a more macro-oriented map, but once again on a micro-oriented map, which... I used to do okay on and now kind of don't, so I don't know. We'll see. Once Sackdoth actually agrees to play again, if that happens. Alright, so here we go one more time on Avalanche, which I'll probably get my butt kicked very quickly, rather than slow and drawn out as last time, where I thought I had a chance. I know apparently Sackdoth was not actually sandbag, and they were just playing shield bots because on that map, shield bot apparently works fairly well, since they can get plus 30 metal pretty much on their opening plateau, defend that, and transition to something else, like a drop, as ex was the case. That's exactly what happened. So that makes sense. Alright. Let's... Again, this time Cloaky because I like Cloaky. Turn down the background music. Yeah, I'm most comfortable with Cloaky, even though it didn't work out for well. Well, didn't work out that well last time. And I just realized Kane hasn't done any Funday Monday stuff in a while. It just occurred to me because Kane's first Funday Monday thing was a dual warrior rush. Which I don't think Sackdoth is going to do, but I can check. I mean, I'm going to check. If I see two warriors, then i got to switch to Rocco's right away. Oops. Alright, so you guys go in. You glaives get in there so I can see what's going on. You are going to be building me a bit more power. And then continuing forward, I suppose. You build back... Okay, so there's no double warrior rush coming in this time. Move back. No easy attack either. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's a dart! Great. Well, I can't build up in time. Or maybe the Lotus will be up in time. Maybe. Yep, the Lotus will be up in time. Okay, cool. Uh, except for that, of course. Yes! I saved it! I saved the metal extractor! I did not get harassed at all. Well, successfully. Oh, slashers! Oh, I didn't expect that. I thought those are defenders. Nope, that's all slashers. Okay, so I guess... Hmm. 
Yeah, this is the one case where warriors actually would work out fairly well. Warriors and glaives. Actually, maybe not so many warriors. That's that's a bad idea. But a couple of them. Now, I'm not doing the Funday Monday double warrior rush thing. Like I said, that's defunct. But maybe I can make this band down here. I mean, they're playing vehicles, so I don't know if they're going to actually try going down here. But maybe I could get away with naked expanding over here. Turn two. Move forward. Because the, the slashers can't move that quick, and warriors are not great at tanking? What? Ah, shoot! Okay, they're worse at tanking than I thought. I'm going to need more warriors to make this work. At least they're getting distracted by the solar plants. That's exactly what I want. Unfortunately, they're not building fast enough. Build faster! Crap, I don't know how to get this thing to work well for me. Well, this went poorly. I don't see this enough at all, ever. That's one thing about this game. There's so many situations that come up, it's almost impossible to beat someone who's better than you. Because they have so many things they know how to deal with, they know what to do. Especially on maps this tiny. Is that already a dart down here? Yeesh. Oh, my comm's dead. <sighs> well, that's a game. Hope you enjoyed that. So I'm going to switch over to Skullgirls now because I was planning on only doing this for an hour and then switching over to Skullgirls, but... It's not quite been an hour, but I was going to switch over at four anyway. So many bloody things I don't know about this game. Oh well. So yeah, switching over, so stay tuned if you want to watch that. Be about five minutes or so.